Hey guys, good morning. It is now, it now just turned 10 a.m. and I just woke up and we're rushing over to a friend's house because um, there were these police guys who reported a 12 foot reticulated python. That's right guys, a 12 foot reticulated python. This python was reported and it's in his house right now. The protocol is um, we take it to the, the nearest rescue center, which is the DNR rescue center in Kazan City. So we're about to check it out right now. We're going there. I was super, I'm super sleepy, but that kind of like gave me an adrenaline rush because after hearing that it's 12 feet long and kind of defensive, well, actually very defensive, that got me super duper excited. So we're going to have a fun time. I was so excited that I injured my lip block. So I'm going to do guys. Sweet. <laughs> so we're gonna bring it out for you guys to see just exactly how big it is and also so you can see that we're not lying there's really a retic inside this bag Hey guys, Bubble, yeah. so that is the retic that we are bringing to the DNR today. So reticulated pythons are the world's longest pythons. They can grow up to almost 20 feet. Oop. They can grow up to almost 20 feet. Ingat, <laughs> ingat, Okay, yeah. So these guys can grow up to almost 20 feet. They eat huge prey because they're so big. And they are commonly found everywhere here in Southeast Asia. Sometimes you can find this in Manila uh, because they are also found in the sewers. Um, but these guys are non-venomous. They kill by asphyxiation, by constricting you. They're constrictors and then they asphyxiate you. So they cut off your circulation and yeah um great so we are gonna take this baby to the rescue center Once we finished initially checking the snake for any signs of injury, we placed it back safely inside the bag. Oh my gosh! So apparently this guy was bashed here in the head. A poor thing. <sighs> okay, look at me guys. I'm dying. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> That mask. Oh, over me. I look and smell like. That one, my strike. Okay guys, so I'm here with the Philippine National Police from the San Juan Police Station. So they were actually the ones who called up my friend to sur so that they, we could all surrender this reticulated python. So, paano niyo ba nakita tong python? Was it dinala po ba sa inyo? Uh, nahuli lang yan ng mga, ano, mga residente ng Barangay Batis at itinurn over nila sa uh, mga tanod natin sa Barangay Batis. Then yung, barang, uh, yung mga tanod natin, sila ang tumawag sa amin para uh, uh, kunin namin yung ano. Paano daw nila nahuli yung ano? Uh, di rin na sabi ng mga, mga residente kasi ang nakahuli niyan. Uh, ano, di rin na sabi ko paano nila nahuli din. Pero buti na nagpusang loob kayo na dahil siya. Okay, that's good. So it's a good thing that these policemen 
they don't choose to kill snakes like these. They know that it's important and they know that they can be surrendered to the right places. So if you guys see any reticulated pythons or any snakes, um, what you can do is you can call the police station, you can call authorities and rescue that snake. Do not kill it, do not hurt it. There are people out there who can help you relocate that snake and take it to a safe place both for them and for you humans. This is Lieutenant Santos po from PNP San Juan. So, kano kadalas po kayo na ako ng mga rescues na ganito, yung mga tinaturnover na ahas? For the past uh, experience namin as a police officer, no? yung mga ganyang mga endangered species is part of our uh, moral responsibility. So, from time to time, yung coordination with the uh, barangay officials, then kami naman, being part of our responsibility, isa't turn over namin niya sa proper uh, authority or lead agency na nangangalaga. Especially yung lahat tayo tulong-tulong kasi bilang uh, uh, isang nangangalaga tayo sa mga kaligtasan ng ating mga kaligtasan, kasama yung mga yan na dapat natin protesta. Um, Lieutenant Santos said it is their moral responsibility. So even they know na all of us, we have to protect the animals that live in our country. After checking the snake, we headed to the Wildlife Rescue Center in Quezon City as the police followed us there to surrender the reticulated python. Kakaano naman, nakaharaka ba na mag-drive na may police sa likod? Bakal magsama ulit. Okay guys, this is um, the real life version of my action movie. <laughs> We are getting chased by the cops. Hi, Demag. Good morning. 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 Good Here at the DNR um, Wildlife Rescue Center, we're gonna surrender the reticulated python. When we arrived at the rescue center, we were asked to weigh the snake, and it weighed as much as 15 kilos. After that, we filled in the paperwork as proof that we did surrender the snake. And then the vet proceeded to do the initial checkup. Because you can't just immediately keep them with the other snakes. You have to first see if they're carrying diseases that could endanger the others. Or if the snake itself is too weak to be in an enclosure with other snakes in the first place. Special thanks to the PNP of San Juan for surrendering this animal, for not killing it, and for doing their job and their moral responsibility not just to be a good policeman, but also to be a good steward of wildlife. Because remember guys, that every piece of wildlife matters! And don't forget to check out our recently launched Wildlife Matters tees and hoodies. All the proceeds will fund our conservation initiatives and help us create more educational videos.